Hello, Chris here. I came across this logo for MDN by John Slater that's been a while ago, and I thought it actually looks a bit like that lion that you know from MGN movies, so I thought it would be a fun exercise to turn that into a roaring lion when you come to a page. So this is the demo that we're doing here now. <laughs> So you say it's playing the sound, it's rotating the dino in, and when it actually starts roaring, then it actually tilts the mouth. So how is that done? I mean, the first thing I needed was a few sounds. So freesound.org is a really good thing for that. So I found this roar.wav file here and tried that one out. And then I found these uh, Chinese fanfare as well and tried that one out. And then I actually used Audacity and a bit of audio editing, which is really not that hard to do. I mean, anybody who's worked with a few uh, with a few tools before, like any sound editing tool, will know what's going on there. So if you look at this right now, uh, this is what it looks like. So I have the whole sound in one go. Put them together, make one of them a bit louder, and that was basically it. I then saved it as an MP3, and I saved it as an AUG file, and then I went up to Photoshop. So Photoshop was the next thing. I cut up the logo into three parts. I cut it up into the circle, into the dinosaur with a black background and an open mouth, and into the jaw. So all I then needed to do to make that jaw move is actually uh, is actually convert it to something, so transform it. So in this case, in Photoshop, I would move that here to that circle, and then I would start turning it around and doing things with it. So this is exactly the same thing that I'm doing with CSS in the main page, instead of having to do that as an animated GIF or something like that. So if we go back to the main code and we take a look at that again, which is something I do far too often, the whole source code is actually very, very simple. So I start with the uh, with the HTML. The HTML here is an audio file with the MP3 and the AUG file. And then I have a section with the ring inside and an uh, element called div ID dino with the dino and the jaw in it. And the jaw gets an own ID as well, so I actually have a handle to it later on. So in the CSS, all I do is actually position the section relatively, which means everything else goes inside. So then I position the ring relative as well, which means the section will be as high as the ring. So when, we, when I actually right click that here, and I inspect this element, you will see that this is the image here in the div ID dino. And then in the section, and the section has different classes on it, uh, firing the different animations, like the rotation of the dino and the change of the jaw. So if I go back to my code, you will see that the dino itself has a transition of one second for all the different browsers out there. And it has a transform of uh, from scaling from zero and and rotating to zero to a scaling for to one one and rotation to 360 degrees and all of that within one second. So what you need what we need to have here is, is a class called on on the section or a class called roar on the section. What's that roar thing about? Well, in the jaw, we do the same thing. The jaw gets a transform origin, which is 10 pixels and 10 pixels, which is approximately here, because if you look at the uh, inspe inspect the jaw element itself, you will say that I put the transform origin here, and the transform then basically is a rotation of 4 degrees. So that's basically the same that you do uh, that you would do in Photoshop that I showed you before. All of that needs a class called Roar on the section. And then I do the animation of the button from 0 to 1 if you run it for the first time, but that's just nice thing, nice to have. So the JavaScript itself is very simple as well. So all I need to do is find out what seconds I, the music is in and then just put different classes on it. So I get the audio element, I get the section element, I define as must roar and must show as true, because these are booleans if the roar and the showing of the dino had happened already. I set the volume to 0.4 instead of 1, because uh, these, my colleague, said his headphones fell off. And then I do an event listener on time update on the audio. And that one actually fires every time the time of the audio updates. You can try that out by doing a console log of a current time here. Yes. Current time. And if I now put this in the, if I open the, uh, the console here, you can see that the time is running and it shows you what time actually the, the music is right now on. 
and all I needed to do then was sync up that time with my animations. So I say if the current time is more than 0.5 and must show has be, uh, is true, then set a class name of on to the section element and set must show to false. This means that the on uh, uh, call here gets started and the WebKit transformation from 0 to 1 and from 0 to 360 is being kicked in. So that's basically the rotation of the dyno at the beginning. I then test again if the section, if the current time is more than three seconds, and if must draw is still true, then set the class name of the section to on and draw, and set must draw to false. That kicks in the second transition, and this this time the jaw transition from zero degrees to four degrees, according to that transform origin that we defined. Uh, the last thing then to do is at 5.2, I set the class name back to on, which means the roar uh, gets removed, which undoes the four degree turn. So the, the jaw closes again. And when it's ended, I just set everything to, to back to on. I set done to true, the must show and must draw to true, set the current time back to zero, pause the play, and then set the button show to the button uh, to replay the animation. And the, the animation button just calls a play again function, which does the same things. So I don't have to do that again. And I don't have a problem that my sound starts playing automatically. So it's pretty simple to do these kind of things if you just use all the different technologies together. My audio is the source of truth when something is playing and the rest is done with CSS animations and, tra uh, well, CSS transitions. Well done and have fun playing with that.